What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Tiberius back again and today we are looking at this beautiful custom handmade knife from Kraken Tactical EDC. Uh, four quick things before we take a look at this knife. First, I am not a super educated knife connoisseur. I did hours and hours and hours of research on knives and steel and got myself a good education. But if I make any mistakes, please just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to fix those mistakes. Uh, two, do you think this knife is too large to put on my battle belt or on my plate carrier? It is 10 inches long. It weighs nine ounces, so by no means is it a uh, a small knife. You know, compared to the the firearm I'm carrying today, the 365, it's a big knife. Uh, it's so beautiful, though. I really love to show it off. But I um I don't know. What do you think? Sign up in the comments. Is this thing too large to put on my plate carrier or my battle belt? I kind of think it is, that's why I'm asking. Uh, third, in the spirit of full disclosure, I did get this knife for free, just so you know. I became online friends with the owner of Kraken Tactical. I uh, helped him out with some social media stuff, and out of the kindness of his heart, he sent this to me free of charge. Didn't plan on making a video about the knife. I'm, like I said, I'm not really a knife guy, but when I saw this custom blade and saw how nice it was, I'm like, they're doing some really nice things, and I really, really wanted to show you guys. Fourth, and certainly not least at any time during this video, if you think I deserve it, as always, please hook me up with a like, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and or go ahead and click that subscribe button. All those things really, really help me out, and if you want to do any of them, I greatly, greatly appreciate them. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at this badass blade. So Kraken Tactical makes custom, handmade, heavy-duty blades that they say will outlast their owners. And we are absolutely going to find out because I plan on using this knife all of the time. Uh, all of their knives are made in very small batches. So if you look at their knives, um, none of the two, no two knives are going to look the same. They're all going to be a little bit different. Uh, this particular one is a Dolos Combat Scalper, but they have a bunch of different options. Um, as I was doing the research for this knife, I had no idea how many different types of steel there are and different quality grades of steel. I looked at it for a couple hours and I said, holy cow, I just, I just got lost. This type of steel is called Nitro V. Nitro V was first sold by New Jersey Steel Baron in 2017. And from what, what I can read, guys, it is a very good hardness a very good toughness and excellent corrosion resistance. Uh, for people who are educated on steel, I believe it is very similar to AB, ABE-L or ABE-I steel. If that means anything to you, I'm told that that is an outstanding steel uh, and one of the most popular steels for knives um, out there on uh, the market. After the blades are shaped, they are cryogenically heat treated, which is a super low temperature treating that uses liquid nitrogen to drastically strengthen and harden the steel. Guys, we're talking like negative 190 degrees to toughen this steel up. Uh, this is the only part of the, the process that Kraken Tactical does not do. They use a company called HTA um, Aerospace. Excuse me. Uh, HTA Aerospace also treats parts for F-350s, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the blade has a stone wash finish. If we can get my camera to focus on it. Let me do my hand trick here. There we go. Has a very, very nice uh, stone wash finish, and that's exactly what it sounds like. The blade is tumbled with water, soap, abrasive stones, and it really enhances the texture on the blade. Um, you can also see that the blade is laser etched or, or uh, engraved with my logo right here. We have the Kraken Tacti Tactical logo, Hair Bang Firearms logo, and I promise you guys I will never ever get rid of or sell this knife. Knife. I think it is absolutely beautiful and I will always, always keep this. Uh, it does have a full tang, so it runs all the way down the end. And then the blade Excuse me again, the blade is a drop point blade. So I think that aesthetically it's a very sharp looking blade. Uh, it does have a notched thumb rest right here with some texturing on it. Let me get you a little closer. There we go. Uh, and it feels great. Between the grips and that notched area, it just feels, feels fantastic. 
Uh, the blade itself is, hand, it has, uh, is, uh, is done by hand and it is ridiculously sharp. Like, <laughs> give yourself a shave with it sharp. Uh, moving back to the handles, the handles are made from a material called Kemlon. And Kemlon is a glass re and fiber polymer. It is chemical resistant. It can withstand really high temperatures without warping or distorting. Impact resistant, brake resistant, all those good things. Uh, the handles are actually hand shaped, then laser etched with the design. And I think the, uh, the way the grip looks with the stonewash blade together is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the one thing I didn't go over yet is the sheath. The sheet is a uh, rust oxide color, does have a belt clip here as well. Uh, while I give the knife an absolute A plus beautiful, uh, beautiful finish, the sheath is probably a solid B. I'm being a little nitpicky here, but the finishing is not quite perfect. It's good, don't get me wrong. And more importantly, the retention is excellent, um, but the finishing is is good it's not perfect then again i'm a little spoiled with my kydex all the m2 tactical holsters are finished just so perfectly i'm a little spoiled with them so high-end custom knives like this one are definitely not cheap like most industries the knife industry is a fashion industry um, so a pretty knife like this that's very uh, it's made from very very durable materials is definitely going to cost you a little more than a mass produced knife something like this is going to cost you just north of three hundred dollars while there's a lot of blades that are less expensive there's also a ton of blades that are way more expensive so i think what you get for the money is a solid value you, uh, it is a really, really nice knife for that $300 price range. Now, if you're interested in picking up a knife like this or any of the other wide variety of knives that Kraken Tactical makes, you have a couple different choices. You can either go down to the description and their Instagram page is linked down there and you can contact them uh, directly through Instagram. Uh, their email address is also down in the description below, which is krakenknifeworks at gmail.com. Um, if you don't want to wait for a knife to be custom built and shipped to you from the land down under, you can contact their two US-based dealers. They have two dealers in the United States, and I believe both of them stock these knives. I know the first one does. It is Arizona Custom Knives. They definitely have a good selection in stock. And your second option is Tack Driver Armory. Both of their Instagram pages will be linked below. I cannot link their website because YouTube rules. What are you going to do? Uh, one thing Kraken Tactical is doing for my followers, my subscribers here, if you order a knife directly from them, not from one of their U.S. dealers, you contact them, you have them custom build you a blade. They are going to ship it to you, again, from the land down under, free of charge. Obviously, you're going to pay for the knife, uh, but they will eat the shipping and send it out to you uh, as a thank you for being one of my followers, which is always very, very nice of them. Guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you very, very much for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. As always, if you think I deserve it, please hook me up with a like, drop a comment, go ahead and click that subscribe button. All those things really, really help me out and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I will see you next time. Peace.